what's up youtube deep under the back another video and today <laughs> this is gonna be a great 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 video man and before we start this video man i gotta talk about one thing one thing square football man it's a very fun interesting game that came out uh just to say if you guys want to check out the game click the link in the description below click the third link in the link description below scroll down the link description below if you see an app store link if you have an iphone Click the link and download the game. If you have, if you have a, if you have an Android phone, uh, click the Google Play link and download the game. It's a very, very fun game, man. I'm telling y'all guys, it's fun. It's very fun to play. Y'all don't understand how fun this game is. Just click it. If you got an iPhone, click the App Store link and download the game. Yeah. If you have an Android, click the Google Play link and download the game. It's very fun. Now let's get back to this video, man. So today you can see what something. The title and thumbnail you can probably assume. This is gonna be about and me. The video just ended a couple days, man. So like, I'm gonna have to talk about it. I want to talk about it, and I believe I'm gonna have some points and some reasons on why I believe Steph Curry should honestly be the MVP of the season. I know before we end, before before before, before I say anything, I know a bunch of y'all fans are like, oh my gosh, Jokic just starts MVP. It's Jokic. It's Jokic, or it's NB. It's NB. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care what you think. <laughs> like, I don't care. I'm sure you can have some points and I will listen to your points. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you're you're wrong for that. Those points will make valid sense. And Jokic and and B will are obviously the top two front runners. Only because only because of seeding. Curry's an eighth seed and they're like and then um, Jokic is a fourth seed in the West and then and B was a first seed in the first seed in the East. So yeah, of course they're winning MVP. But as I said again, and I'm gonna say it again, I've said that all the time. And let's be honest, like even you people who honestly believe Jokic or MB deserves MVP. Let's be honest. If Curry was a five seed or above, Curry would be MVP. Like don't even lie. Don't don't even lie. Don't even lie. I don't even want you to lie. Don't you want to cap? If Curry was a five seed or above, he would be MVP. Like, he would already, by the time before the season even ends, we already know he's MVP. It's only because he's an 8 seed. And if he was a 5 seed, he would definitely be automatically, everybody would agree, he's MVP this season. And that's what I'm saying. And that's when I use the same point to talk about what I'm talking about. Curry's an 8 seed. Yeah, we know 8 seeds are very low and he has a very low chance of winning MVP. But I'm going to say the same thing as I said. I'm going to say Westbrook won MVP as a 7 seed. I know you're going to be like, but, 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 they act like G League, G League level players at some times, man. And people is actually too, he, he's carrying a G League level team to the playoffs. And that's, if that doesn't, if that narrative and that whatever, that doesn't say enough for him to win MVP, I don't know what is. He has no good team. The fact that he, I think he's one of the only players that has, only one of the only players in the whole league, Curry, who has not, not, no good second option, no efficient second option, no efficient third option, no efficient options in his team. Heck, even the, even the Timberwolves have better play, have, have better first, second, third options. I mean, not first options, I better second, third options than the Warriors. Let's dissect them. Let me prove it for you. First option for the war, for the Wolves are Cat. His second option in the team is D'Lo. Third option in the team is, is Anthony Edwards. The second option is D'Lo and the third option is Anthony Edwards. They are more efficient than Kelly Oubre and Andrew Wiggins. I already proved my point. How one, best another example. Um, let's go again, let's go again, let's go again. Houston Rockets, a 15 seed team in the West. The first option in the team, uh, you can argue, but I'm going to go with Christian Wood. You can say Josh, John Wall, but I'm going to go with Christian Wood. Second option in the team is Kevin Porter Jr. Third option in the team is John Wall. They're more efficient, overall more efficient. I won't say John Wall, but Kevin Porter Jr. Second option is more efficient than our second option in Andrew Wiggins. Uh, we get so many teams, there's so many teams who are lower seeding than us, than us in the East or West that have overall that their teams are overall aren't better. I mean, their overall the top options in their teams are better than our top options. And Curry, for some miracle, because he's so good, he's carrying the team. Good. And keep in mind, Curry is in the hard West. The wild, wild West we're talking about. The West is so stacked this year. The fact that he's so skilled and so good and talented to carrying the team, 
into an eight seed. The fact that we're even making the fact that we're even the first round playing tournament, we just have to win one game and we'll be seven seed. We're gonna have to be an eight seed. Let's see, and this is an eight seed. We're definitely being the Lakers. I, I'm not there's plenty, so I'm not worried about it. The Lakers are already dysfunctional. I already made a video about it yesterday. Y'all can check it out. The Lakers are already dysfunctional. They already have the so injury prone. LeBron is injury prone. AD's injury prone. We're not beating Curry. So that's not my that's not my third. We're definitely ending the whole season as a seven seed. Whether we beat win more games and we become a seven seed or or we beat uh, the Lakers and become a seven seed. But my point is this video is the reasons why Curry should be MVP. You're telling me a guy who's carrying a team full of G League level players at some point to the playoffs. That's MVP caliber stuff. Narrative matters in MVP. Y'all gonna see your stats. Your kids is a better seed, but narrative matters so much in MVP. Y'all don't understand, bro. Narrative matters so much in NBA and not even MVP, NBA awards. Y'all don't even know. Best example, look at the 2016 finals MVP. We already know that situation. I'm gonna talk about it. We already know. Narrative is the reason why Iggy. Iggy won the award for Curry. Narrative. Narrative, narrative. That's the only reason why. Not skills. Narrative. Narrative matters a lot. So my narrative, so the narrative for Curry is way better than Jokic and Embiid. The overall statistics are better than Embiid and Jokic. Like overall, Curry is a better, better player. The only thing holding back is an A seed. But we can say the same point. Westbrook was a seven seed and won MVP. You know why he won it? Because the narrative, skills and narrative. The narrative of Katie leaving him and then him balling out like crazy in the regular season, outperforming everybody. The narrative, heavy rest will go up a lot. Even though he was very low seeding, he still won MVP. How come we can't use that same logic to Curry, who averaged in the month of April 37 points per game? That right there is amazing. Overall, just balling out. Even this month, dropping at certain times, he had a streak of not dropping below 30 points at any game. Like obviously, we know right now he's averaging 32 points per game, but he had a streak where he would not. The Suns are break. The Suns, I think, a couple of days, a couple of days ago, ended up breaking that streak when he hit 21 points. But he had a very long streak where he hit 30 points a game and above. Who's doing that in the league? Who was hitting 30 points and above? Who's every single game at least hitting 30 points or more points? Who's doing that in the league? No one. It's just stuff like this I've named when it comes to narrative reasons why Curry's carrying a G League level team. Uh, narrative reasons of how if Westbrook can be a 7 seed and Curry's an 8 seed, he truly deserves MVP. I'm not, I don't use a seed as an excuse. Ever since I saw Westbrook won MVP as a 7 seed, I know anything is possible, bro. And narrative matters so much. And narrative is on, more on Curry's side than Embiid and Jokic. Skill side is more on Curry's side than Embiid and Jokic. Stat side is more on Curry's side than Embiid and Jokic. It's just that, bro. We can... Any Anybody that disagrees with me, it's okay. I, I'm not, I'm not going to hate on y'all. But you can mention in the comments below why you disagree with me. But what I'm saying here is pure facts. And you can be mad at all you want. All I said. And I said the same thing again. I did make a video months ago before the season started. And it was a very wrong take. The Warriors weren't a good team. This season overall as a team, we weren't good. But I always was staying clear what I said earlier in the season. That Curry would dominate and win MVP. Bro. The, now that was like around December of 2020 when the season was about to start. Now it's a couple of days before the season ends. Curry needs his MVP right here and right freaking now, my guy. What are we doing? Don't give it to Ilkic. Don't give it to Embiid. Curry needs it. Narrative, wait, as I said again, I've already mentioned it, uh, earlier. Everything when it comes to MVPs, wave Curry. I mean, what's it called again? Uh, are on the side of Curry than Jokic and Embiid. Everything, narrative, skills, stats, everything. The only thing that that matters the most, sadly, in MVPs that's not in Curry's side is seeding, team success, which is more on Jokic and Embiid. That's why they're front runners and why Curry isn't. But if as I'm gonna say the same point again, y'all can be. Oh, y'all can make the point. I, I know some people be like, oh, Kobe, uh, averaged three points a game but overall. I was born Steve Nash in 2006 and didn't win MVP, and he was. And you, we can use the point because he was a seven seed. I don't care. If Kurt, Kobe, Kobe was a seven seed. He still deserved MVP over Nash in 2006. He was robbed. He was robbed. Simple. I don't care what seeding he wore. It's some seedings where he carried a trash team to a seven seed in the regular season. I don't care how good Steve Nash was. Kobe was robbed in 2006. 2006. Just like Curry's gonna be robbed this year in 2021. I'm just seeing it again. It's all flash flashbacks, man. Just like Kobe was robbed in 2006, Curry is always looking like he's going to be robbed in 2021 this season. Because I know dang well they're not gonna give it to someone who's an AC. Even though I can make all these points and a bunch of not only me, a bunch of other people I've seen on comments on YouTube videos, overall people making videos saying why Curry does deserve MVP. 
Oh, but it's not going to happen because seating matters so much. And I'm starting to believe sometimes seating shouldn't really matters a lot anymore, but narrative should matter more. And overall, not all the time, but stat wise, skill wise, and narrative wise, I think they're the three most important things when it comes to any award in the NBA, especially stuff like the finals MVP and regular season MVP. And Curry outperforms and Beam and Jokic and all that. Honestly. So, like, honestly, the award should be going to Stephen Curry. Even if he doesn't give it to him, everybody will know in their hearts Curry was the most valuable player in the whole league, regardless if he wins the award or not. But he still overall does deserve the MVP award. I'm telling y'all, man, I just hope. Uh, Sally looks like he's going to be robbed. Uh, I'm telling y'all, I'm not going to care. I don't care, everybody. Don't use that excuse that, oh, Curry's an eight seed. He's going to have to go to the plane to make the playoffs. He's not even officially making the playoffs. I don't care. If Westbrook can be a seventh seed and due to narrative and skills win MVP, Curry can do the same thing, bro. But the way it's looking like... I don't know what's going to happen this season. I hope so, but the way he's looking, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed this video. Click the video on the left. I made a video about LeBron and his situation and the Lakers. They're telling you. I made a video on, the, on why the Lakers look very bad this season and why I think they're not going to make a deep, a deep playoff run. Click the video on the left if you want to see about that. Click the video on the right if you want to see a very interesting video. All this I say, goodbye, guys.